Hello everyone, I'm your host Aqua and welcome back to Sly 2. Today we are going on to... I suddenly have a name for this guy popped up in my head and I'm probably wrong. Anyway, we're heading on to episode 6. Last time we got the clockwork eyes. Today we're going for who knows what. He who tames the iron horse. I like the addition of a train in a Sly game. I have no idea why, but I'm suddenly very excited for this. Let's go! Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature, and yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. So more than his share, does he have more than one that we're going to get? He who tames the iron horse, which we saw before, but this one just looks a lot more awesome as a title. Alright Sly, you're up. What have we got? I've got a lead on the clockwork parts. Head through town and out into the wilderness. Okay, but I feel like there's going to be a bottle right here somewhere. Is there not? All right, <laughs> never mind then. We'll move on. So we got some moose. I'm pretty sure those are moose. I mean, they might be caribou. I'm not very well versed on the biology of wild game. All right, where to? Where to? Mm, hopefully, it's not right next to where we started from. I should probably double check on there. We go. Bear, bear, bear. Oh, so many bears. Let's climb. That's much safer. Let's stay up here, shall we? I thought it was coming toward me. Hi, moose. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone, moose. Leave me alone, moose. Why am I afraid of a moose? Because he has a flashlight. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. I saw a bottle. Ah, what the heck. We'll just go after this one. I forgot I had the paraglider for a moment. Don't look at me. Alright, we're good. That cabin may seem rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bison's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall, that'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Hmm. A game mechanic that not only uses the circle button, but also more of that. Huh. Okay, <laughs> this is bad timing on my part. Yeah, that was really easy. Okay, Mr. Rossetti's in this game. Didn't see that coming. Jackpot slide. That's Sean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. 
they should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio again. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course, one must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you covetous troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuffed them in my three trophy pass. Sounds like you're making capital use of your... Sly, did you hear that? Besides hidden the iron horse blueprints in his trophy pass. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plans. That'll do fine. Okay. By the way, are you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Alright, very good. Excellent! Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity. You're correct, sir. Yours is the final piece to the puzzle. The missing link. After analyzing Bissant's decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Right, well, that was, uh, quite a revealing conversation. Let's hope there's not a train behind me. And where to? Is this one of the cabins? Well, there's a bottle on top of it, so I'm gonna say this is a cabin we should be heading to. Uh, how do we head to it? Up there. All right. From up here, we just land on it. Yeah. Simple. 30 bottles, right? Yes. Okay. And then... Random goat. Oh, you've got treasure on you. Anything interesting and new? I really hope so. A nugget. Okay. It looks like a gold nugget to me, so... It should sell for at least a moderately decent amount, I would hope. Did I need that health? I'm not sure. Whatever. Am I even heading in the right direction for this stuff? I don't know, but there's a bottle up here, so we're good. Alright, where do I head to? I should probably figure this out. One and two. Alright. We'll head over to this one. And wait. Got lucky enough to find a bottle. Bottle is the name of the motivation in this game. Let's see, what do you want in this game? You want a lot of treasure? You want the clockwork eyes and parts and whatnot? Uh, no. We we just want the uh, bottles. <laughs> and this duck's money. Is it a duck? I'm not sure. All right, you did. Come on. No. Just get down. It's still flashing, so someone is aware that I'm here. Never mind. Alright, and then in here, do we have guards? Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. How? Okay, okay, take my time, take my time. Also, we can see the safe. Um, up here, yes. Okay. Ooh! This place is almost too well guarded. Nobody heard that. Oh, somebody heard that. Gotcha. Two down, one to go.
Uh -huh. Yeah, we're good. I'm gonna say we're good. Alright, let's get out. This is going almost too easy. Excuse me, duck. Go away. Go away. Go away. You're rich, right? You're also sinking into the wall. I thought we were done with the mountain eating people when Morrowind ended. Come on now. You're a tough bird, aren't you? <laughs> I didn't mean for that to come off as an old phrase, but you know what? Sure, whatever. Okay. So, yeah, I knew there was one more over here. Hopefully I can find the bottles quickly so they aren't a constant distraction while I'm playing this level. Go for it. I am taking the long way around to the other cabin though, just to see if there was any more over here. Even if the bottles are in easily noticed places, it's possible they might throw them in out of the way places like that, so I had to check. Oh my word. Yeah, thank you sir. I will give you a quick knockout. I get the feeling Murray is going to go bear wrestling at some point. Alright, so there's that one. Any more up there? Alright, no, no. Which means... I can take some from your pocket. There we go. Yes. Alright, already up to ten bottles. This is excellent. First episode in this place, and we're already up to 10 bottles. Wow. Okay. Um. So the next one was over there. Okay. Yep. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why was that even a thing? Oh boy. Hello. Right. Um. I am on train tracks. But, I feel as if there may be bodily goodness at the top of this thing. And no guarantee that I'll be coming up here for any mission. So, I failed. Okay. I don't even want what's in your pocket. I'll just take whatever falls out of your body. I want to get up there, please. Surely there must be at least one bottle. It can't be purely... Um... Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Alright. So, over here. Yep. How is it that we have both sentient and non-sentient animals? Uh, here. Thank you for that. You know what? Come on down here. Birds. Okay, so they give me some sort of warning. I just did not notice it before. Oh, fine, I'm on a job. Well, okay then. I'll pick that up in between episodes. You jerks. Is there a bottle up here? Is there a bottle over here? That's a lot of bear traps. That is one less mole. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. No, go away. Why are you even here? Okay, that's something for Murray. Yeesh. Must be something really good in this cabin. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys in Fonderosa cabin there's someone been in my head blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. I don't pay you boys to molly gay while there's a beat in these parts. I'm fine. I'm fine. I can handle this. Okay. Maybe not. There's there's a lot of moose. Oh wait, now there's a lot of coins. And one moose. There's much less moose. Okay. Uh yeah. Everything went according to plan. <laughs> and here's my way up. All right. Um Yeah. Real smooth. Yeah, I went perfectly in that mission. Can't match this? No. I'm just that awesome. Right. Armed with 
with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the Iron Horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. We were... Fine. Also, there's a bottle over here on this lake. I don't know how I didn't see it before. Maybe because the bear traps were distracting. Sly's feet are now frozen. Great. Cracking the frostbite. Ooh, nice. Okay, we made it. No bird problems. This is great! We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the safe house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. Fantastic. Now please don't... Oh, you're fading me out. I was wanting that treasure. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. So, we're getting three heists during this mission, and they're all pretty much back to back. That's a nice little twist. Makes me wonder how they're going to end off this chapter. And just for the record, how much are these things worth? Well, the gold bar's worth the most. I guess that makes sense. And anything new and interesting in here? Well, definitely new things. Oh, I kind of like that hover pack idea. Uh, mm, That's a really good one. Okay, well, we have some things to aspire to. Thanks, everyone, for joining me for Sly 2 today. Next time, we'll, well, probably just go on a big bottle hunt, but we'll be <laughs> working toward getting one of the clockwork luns from one of the iron horses. I said one of the a lot in that sentence, didn't I? Oh well. See you next time, everyone. Take care. You may be hallucinating as a side effect of the Ooh, clockwork eyes. There's nobody over here at all. I have no idea why you're running back and forth across the street line. But I am definitely not in the vicinity. Go away! <laughs>